Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership, three string cigar box guitar. This is our four year anniversary. I uh, started this channel in 2017 on today, the 17th. Uh, happy anniversary to you and me. We both have an anniversary today of doing lessons, working on songs together. Your input has been vital in making this channel and our working together a success. I want to say thank you so much for all the, the years of uh, teaching and working with you all and getting you to the place you want to be. This is when my train pulls in. And this is a Gary Clark Jr. song, really, really fantastic tune. Um, if you are looking for Christmas ideas, we've got the uh, Learn to Sing and Play songbook. Um, learning to sing and play is vital as a guitar player. It's vital. It really is. And this book will help you along with other things. I've got workshops, tons of stuff down. Just take a look at all the things down in the show notes. And without further ado, so this is Gary Clark Jr. When My Train Pulls In. So uh, I also have a companion video, so... going on G D G 42 34 24 those are my gauges uh, so this song has basically three chords in it it has E but where is an E G open G sharp a B flat B C C sharp D D sharp E that's a great chord that ninth fret E but what we're going to do is we're going to invert this chord. This is an inverted E, and it starts down here with that first finger on that second fret of the D string. Third finger and pinky each on the fourth. So it's going to look like so. And just like with the last lesson with the I drink alone, we're chord noodling in here. that B and then open. And I'm just going down, down with my pick. Down, hammer on, down. Then I'm going to go to B. Then I'm going to go to A. So. So B, A, G. E. And then I do a 
another hammer on D open string to that E. So. It's very difficult to start playing with your fingers like this in this chord shape. So if you're a beginner or you're very new to this style of chord noodling, that's my term. I've never heard it anywhere else. But if you're new to this, it's it's difficult because your your fingers don't go exactly where they're supposed to go and you keep playing the chord and you, and you miss a note here and there. I get it. It's cool. Just keep working on it. It's taken me a week of working on this really diligently, hours at a time, hours a day, and I've been playing for 47 years, so I've got a lot of, of skill under my belt, and it's taken me a long time. So if it takes you a long time, that's okay. So, chord, hammer on A to B, go to D, open, B, A, G, hammer on D, to that E chord. Okay, that's the that's the whole song right there. In my opinion, it's a very cool riff. I, I really really like it, and it, you play it with a lot of power with the. Uh, It's got a lot of power into it, so it's a very, very powerful riff. The other two chords are A7 and B7. So we know A is a bar chord across this second fret right here, 2, 2, 2. And A7 just take away that 2 here. So it's 2, 2, 0. you want to play it, two, two, and zero. The B7 is a B chord, four, 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 with this note dropped two frets. So that's how I play it. You could certainly play it this way, or just play a B. You could certainly just play a B or an A. Um, if all of this is too complicated, slow it down, sing it. Every day, nothing seems to change, right? You don't need to make it complicated. Add those things and those different flavors as you get better and more competent using these tools. E, A, B, okay? E, A7. B, four, four, two. Now, in the song, on the album, you hear this wonderful chord that goes... It's, it's beautiful and masterful. I just love this chord. This is just an A7. 14, 14, 12, and 14, 14, 11. So what he does is it sounds like this. And so what I'm doing is, is I'm isolating those notes, not playing it as one chord because it gets very muddy, but I'm isolating those notes. Individually, uh, of course, he's playing on a six-string guitar, so it makes it a little different. But that's so. What's happening dynamically is you've got this powerful low end, and then you come up to this nice little quiet thing. As far as I can read into the song, that's the only time it happens is that first verse. So let me show you this little dynamic thing, the dynamics of this. Using 
Dynamics is a pro tool. It's a tool that professionals use to wake up a song or kind of let a song chill out, you know. Um, so I, I want you to use Dynamics. And you can do that with your pick. I'm not changing the volume or anything. I'm just doing with the, with my pick attack, the way I attack the strings. I'm chilling out. So what I want you to do is remember power, chill, power, 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 right? So think about that when you're doing this. This is a fantastic song. The riff is excellent. It's excellent times 10. And uh, I've been really having a lot of fun with it. Definitely see the companion video. Uh, you know, look at that. You're going to see me use dynamics differently, especially when I'm using, you know, a uh, drum and the hi-hat. So that's really fun. Um, all I can say is thank you so much for four years. Uh, this has been a great ride. Uh, I stumbled upon you all, truly stumbled upon you all when I bought this. And uh, I, I stumbled into doing lessons because I played a song on this and you kept asking me, you know, play this, play that. I want to learn this. I want to learn that. So thank you so much for everything you do for me. Truly, truly thank you. Um, we're a 100% donation channel and we have been for four years. I try to keep no commercials on this channel, but you know how things go. Um, PayPal and Square donation links down below. Don't forget, Tess and I made this great songbook, and uh, it's to help you sing and play. If you want to sing and play stuff like this tune, every day, nothing seems to change. It, it seems impossible at first to be able to sing and play these things that are very, very complicated. The way to start is to just start singing and playing, strumming songs, up and down strums, and just start singing. That's where I want you to be. That's what Tess and I want you to do. So check out the songbook. And I have some lessons on my website that go with this songbook totally free. So check that stuff out too. Um, this is my Roland Mini Cube, and these are the settings that I'm using for this tune. So I'm on the Brit Combo. Gain is straight up. Tone is right there on that number three, okay? So it's just up from zero. And uh, I've got a little bit of reverb. And that's it. Uh, my guitar volume is maxed out. This is a really good, really good tone. So uh, give that a go. Thank you so much again. Happy anniversary to you and me. It is a relationship like this, where you comment and ask for things, and I try to deliver. Sometimes I can't. Um, I do my best. And I thank you so much for such a wonderful ride, and uh, it's awesome. So uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.